Good morning and welcome to your Sunday Gardener. I'm John Collins along with Carrie Engel Hello. from Valley View Farms. Mums. It's mums. the time of year to display the mums. And we get a lot of questions about mums, so I thought we'd just take a few minutes and just talk about how to grow mums. So there, there is a trick to get them to look like this, and we'll talk about that in a minute, but if, if you wanted to go out and buy one now that's in a pot, and, and you then wanted it to be there next summer, so right. that's how do we get the process going? Well, you want to get it potted right away. So most of these have wonderful root systems because they've been growing all summer. Um, mm -hmm. So if anything else, you want to... This is becoming pot-bound a little it bit. It is. Yeah. Um, but just you know, move those roots around a little bit, go ahead and plant them in, water them in really, really well. You may want to put biotone or some type of uh, starter fertilizer in when you get them started. Just to really, just to really give just it a to good get them shot. Going. Because they are hardy if they're planted right, but you mm -hmm. do have to watch it. And you really have to remember in late fall and, and before they actually, you know, go totally dormant that they may need some water. So keep Keep, keep them, track especially of that. a new planting like yeah. that. Now, is there a trick when they have all these flowers when you buy it and everything else to keep it doing that, or is this going to be the display and that's the end of it? It's going to keep on coming. Um, usually, you can count on four to eight weeks of bloom. It just depends yeah. exactly w at, at what point in time you got mm -hmm. them. Um, a lot of people like to get them when they're at this stage where a lot of the flowers are open, but there's still plenty of buds. Mm -hmm. Other people will buy them almost totally green, but just so they have a couple buds for color. And they'll they'll give you a splash in a couple of weeks or right. something like that. Now, a lot of folks use these just for decorating, so they'll put them in with their pumpkins and gourds and hay stacks and all they that. They stay in the pot. They stay in the pot. They're going to need water pretty much every day. Mm -hmm. So just check that. Uh, we have our ladies come in at 7 o'clock every morning and they water every single mum in here every single day. So if you buy it and you want it in your garden to come up next year, just to look ahead, there is a trick to make them come up nice and compact this time of year once they come in the spring. Right. When you go ahead and plant them, the flowers are going to turn brown. Let them do that. Let it overwinter that. Let way. it overwinter that way. That's going to help protect the crown and everything. But then by about St. Patrick's Day next time next year, come out, cut them back a little bit, down to maybe about six inches or so. Come back again Mother's Day. Do it again. St. Patrick's Day and Mother's Day. And let's say Fourth of July for our and last. Fourth of July. So three cutbacks or haircuts, and then you'll get this in September. Right. I can't tell you how many gardens I go to, and they're lovely, but the mums are kind of this tall and kind of all over the place. Because they were just let go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's okay, but if you want this kind of cushion mum look, that's the way to do it. And they do like sun. They love sun. Okay, they'll, they'll flower better. Yep, that. and what's nice about chrysanthemums, they're basically pest free. They mm -hmm. get, you know, a couple of things, but nothing major. Okay, we're out of time, but we've covered mums. Okay. <laughs> Mum is the word. Uh -oh. This time of year, anyway, uh, it's a great plant, and you can get extended life out of whatever you buy now. Just remember, St. Patrick's Day, Mother's Day, and the 4th of July. You got it, John. Okay, Carrie, yep. thanks. Next Sunday, we'll be back. See you then.